guys, what's going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is June 14, 2024, and welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And just looking at this title and this picture, yeah, it's not looking good for the world. You have a candidate running for parliament in the UK. His name is AI Steve. A I Steve. And no, this is not no clickbait. This is the real deal. Once again, AI candidate running for parliament in the UK says AI can humanize politics. Voters can talk to AI Steve, whose name will be on a ballot for the UK general election next month to ask policy questions or raise concerns. This AI, he could, um, he could answer everybody's question at the same time. I think 10,000? He could talk to 10,000 people at the same time? <sighs> he could multitask. He has the answer for everything. I mean, it, guys, this is not a joke. This is the real deal. Uh, I'm not making this stuff up. All right, so they are really serious about first AI president. I mean, it will happen. And this is what Elon, he was talking about. He was warning that uh, this thing is going to be worse than nukes. Hmm. And just like that, humans are giving AI the control of everything. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Let's see what's going on here, guys. Once again, please share this video. This is very, very important. AI Steve will be the first AI to run for leadership <laughs> man it's not like he announced it there's someone pulling the string an AI artificial intelligence candidate is on the ballot for the UK general election next month AI Steve that's his name AI Steve Represented by Sussex businessman Steve, I'm going to skip his last name, will appear on the ballot alongside non-AI candidates running to represent the constituents, uh, skipping the words here, in the Brighton Pavilion area of Brighton and Hove, a city on England's southern coast. AI Steve is the AI co-pilot. Once again, Edicott uh, said in an interview, I'm the real politician going into Parliament, but I'm controlled by my co-pilot. Edicott is the chairman of Neural Voice, a company that creates personalized voice assistance for businesses in the form of an AI avatar. Once again, Noel Voices technology is behind AI Steve. One of the seven characters, one of the seven characters? So there's more. The company created to showcase its technology. Now he said the idea is to use AI to create a politician who is also, excuse me, who is always around to talk with constituents and can give me a second and who can take the views into consideration now people can ask AI Steve questions or share their opinions 
on Anacard's policies on its website, during which a large language model would give answers in voice and text based on a database of information about his party's policies. If he doesn't have a policy for a particular issue raised, the AI would conduct some internet research before engaging the voter and pushing them to suggest a policy. AI Steve, which is open to the public to try, told NBC News in response to a question about its stance on Brexit. As a democracy, the UK voted to leave. And it's my responsibility to implement and optimize this decision regardless of my personal views on the matter. Do you have any thoughts on how Brexit should be managed in the future? It added. Look at this. Look at this. You are now chatting with AI Steve. Please make sure you enable your microphone. Hi, Steve. Where do you stand on Brexit? As a democracy, the UK voted to leave and it. Now, my responsibility to implement and optimize this decision regardless of my personal views on the matter. This is where we are right now. This is where we at right now. So now we're gonna have uh, AI leadership. I give another again. I give another twenty, maybe thirty years. The world's gonna be run by them. Again, this is what Elon been uh, sounding the alarm. I assume. Uh, I know Elon left. I mean, he left multiple, uh, you know, tweets several years ago about uh, AI being dangerous, uh, leading, uh, again, worse than NU NUKE, worse than nukes. Etikot said he is also seeking thousands of whom he calls uh, validators or people he is targeting because he believes they represent the common man. In particular, Brighton locals who have a long daily commute we're asking them once a week to score our policy from 1 to 10. And if a policy gets more than 50%, it gets passed. And that's the official party policy, he said. Adding every single policy. I would say that my decision is my voter's decision. And I'm connected to my voters at any time on a weekly basis via electronic means. In 2022, Etikot unsuccessfully ran in a local election under the Conservative Party. He received less than 500 votes, and this time, the unusual nature of his candidacy uh, stirred some conversation on X over the weekend, uh, when news of AI Steve launched a leak online and prompted around 1,000 calls to the AI proxy in one night. What do you guys think? Man, this is where we at right now. This is where we at. We're going to allow the computers because that's what it is. It's just technology, uh, computer stuff to uh, be on a ballot to become leadership and to hold the position of power, giving them the authority. I mean, do we give them the, the new codes, too? <laughs> Man, just thinking about it, this is like Terminator stuff here. Wow. Get ready. Get ready. Voters' top issues so far, according to those calls, were in order of importance. Concerns about the safety of Palestinian trash bins, bicycle lanes, immigration, and abortion. I'm skipping certain words here. Follow me on this one. Adekot noted that having an AI representative enable him to respond in a sense to thousands of potential constituents a day. I'm skipping certain words here, guys. Now, follow me on this one. I mean, we have seen something like this happening in a, 
in some churches in Europe. There is AI pastors. Yes, AI pastors. And if you see something like that, run, run away, run far away. But Lewis, that's a church. No, it's not. A pastor is called by the Father in heaven by God. A pastor has a Holy Spirit. AI don't have Holy Spirit. It's just a man machine. Run, run far away from that church. Actually, it's not even considered a church. So it says here, I don't have to go knock on their door. Get them out of bed when they don't want to talk to me, Erdogan said. He said that was the old form of politics, whereas people can now choose to contact AI Steve on their own uh, volatilization and at their convenience. Now, once again, Erdogan described himself as a centralist who aligns most closely, but not quite, once again, with the Green Party. His own party, Smarter UK, was not registered in time for this year's election. Now, he said he is not using the AI avatar to prepare his own business interest. As he says, he holds less than a 10% share in Noel River, the platform, uh, platform behind AI Steve. Now, his primary motivation, he said, is to push the gov to enact changes to cut carbon emissions, uh, whether that means running for office or, worst case, becoming a political influencer. Yes, we should take advice on a machine. Mm. This Again, this is when a Demolition Man movie pops up again. Because uh, for those of you that don't know about the movie, it came out in the early 1990s and uh, starring Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes, and I think uh, Sandra Bullock. Very, very funny uh, action movie. Uh, in the year 2033, um, they have these machines. <laughs> and you have these powerful people. When they don't have the answer, they go to these machines. Uh, what do you think about this and whatever the machine name is? Well, I think it's not a good idea. Maybe if you go with this, uh, so they take advice from machines. And that's what's going on here, guys. And that movie is a foreshadowing. There's a lot of stuff in that movie that is it's happening now. Again, just like the Terminator. If elected, AI Steve will be the first AI legislator to make it into public office. <laughs> Man. But he's not the first to experiment with leveraging the emergency technology in election. In Wyoming, a Cheyenne, my uh, Mawawa candidate reportedly says he will use an AI bot to make decision for him. Wow! And two years ago, a political party in Denmark was founded on a AI derived platform. Though the concept of the AI politician may seem silly to some and disturbing to others, Erdogan said he wants to make clear. That his platform is not a joke. There you go. It's not a joke. It's the real deal. He rejects the premise that the AI is replacing a human politician. Instead, insisting that the aim is to bring more humans into politics. My, my, my. This is where we at right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not AI taking over the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eventually it will. It's AI being used as a technical way of connecting to our constituents. I'm skipping the words here, guys. And reinventing democracy by saying you don't just vote for somebody every four years. You actually control the vote on an ongoing basis, he said which is very, very radical in the UK, probably even more radical in America. Ladies and gentlemen, AI Steve is running for parliament in the UK. This is where we at right now. This is where we at right now. <laughs> AI candidate running for parliament in the UK says AI can humanize politics. Wow.
What do you guys think? Leave comments down below. And uh, like I say, guys, uh, we are definitely seeing a lot of changes happening. And uh, as we get closer and closer to 2030, I mean, it's going to be a whole new world. This is it, man. I mean, we are seeing generation through generation. All the changes and things are just shifting. And history is being replaced. I mean, the only thing we're going to have is statues. That's it. That's the only thing we're going to have, statues. Everything else will be erased. And there's going to be a new system in place. We are seeing it. We are living it. We are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please share this video. For those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.